So I think Anne uh, really put a finger on it, um, that you know, it's not an absolute disaster if you make the wrong decisions, it's, uh, but it's, um, it's better if you can avoid them. And uh, really the, the whole point of, um, of setting up and getting the right instrumentation and, and basically bringing everything up is, is to get work out as soon as possible, everything is turned as, around as fast as possible, um, obviously, and, and trying to plan ahead as, as best you can. Um, so we're in a just if I fancy slides that's just for Trinity College the disclaimer there um, so there's going to be four sections to this talk um, I think that there's a break in between and uh, I need to find out when exactly that break is um, and uh, so uh, basically we're going to talk about forward planning uh, we're going to talk about how to choose the right HCS system and uh, it, really, um, the system we use for, for, for this, uh, this decision-making can be applied to anything. It's just that it works quite well, for, for, especially with the HES systems. Um, approaching, approaches to setting up and running HES laboratories and uh, a description of uses of the major sort of classes of uh, laboratory automation and robotics. Um, really, most of what I'm going to talk about could be applied to any sort of lab, really. I think... I think in many ways, because it, this is a new technology, um, many of the problems that you would encounter become more of an issue and potentially uh, more costly as, as you go along. So the whole point is, um, you know, this is just some generic, um, some, some generic ideas about um, how to set up a lab and, and some of the problems that we've encountered in the past. So for anyone new to the space, um, there's a lot of new terms, uh, jargon, technology and uh, most people or many of the people that are moving into this space are probably biologists and uh, all of a sudden you, you're going from, from uh, your comfort zone into a completely different realm. Uh, there's you know, terms like assay development and image analysis and data storage, sort of IT problems that even though even with uh, the, the right data, um, the right IT support you know, you, you have to understand. You don't need to know a huge amount about anything, but you do need to have a small amount of knowledge about um, a, a large number of different subjects. So I always think, certainly as a facility manager, or, or, or you, you, need, you need to be an integrator, really. You need to integrate all of these things together to keep the projects moving. Um, 